All right, so let's talk about Avatar The Way of the Water, which is the sequel to the 2009 Avatar movie that James Cameron had directed and had been waiting for for such a long time. This movie was apparently going to be released a couple of years ago, but with what happened in the past couple of years, they, uh, like, uh, James Cameron held it off. But um, this one surprised me. I genuinely was glad to see... Like, the first Avatar I remember liking, I haven't seen it in a, in a couple of years. Um, it's not a movie I really rewatch, but honestly, watching this movie, it might, it kind of makes me want to one day maybe watch them all again. But uh, the first Avatar I remember was fine. I remember it was really popular to get hated, to hate on Avatar, because it was similar to Ferngully, Pocahontas, Dance with Wolves, blah, blah, blah. Same kind of story, same kind of execution, but with visuals that had surprise that have been never been done before in terms of 2009 standards so looking at avatar the first one in 2009 um i thought it was serviceable but i don't remember it super well i remember visuals were great and i do remember it was similar to those movies i mentioned but the thing that's surprising about avatar 2 is that i really liked it um i thought that these characters like, the way that they establish this this set of characters into this movie, I think, is good. And it does a cliche that I don't really like in Disney sequels, where it's like, oh, it's the sequel of the, fam the kids of the family from the first one, and we're going to have them be more of the main stars than the, than the parents from the first movie. Um, but in this film, it was done good. Um, it's just, I think I'm just so exhausted with that cliche with like the Disney direct -to video Disney sequels where it's like oh Fox and the Hound or not Fox and the Hound Little Mermaid 2 like oh it's about the daughter who's the same Lady and the Tramp 2 it's about the pup who's the same as the parents like those kind that kind of cliche bugs me in movies like those but the thing in this I liked is that this is of course about the whole family about Jake and Natiri and all these kids that they have raised since the first movie because they didn't have any kids in the first movie i i like the fact that these kid characters were interesting and they were and they were actually not like they were serviceably interesting like i was surprised watching them i did like the like what the characters did i liked their scenes i thought that they did good and i liked seeing them i thought it was cool seeing sigourney weaver back as another character the daughter of Rose is the character, I think, from the first movie, who Sigourney Weaver played as human in human form. But she is in this movie, again, of course, as the daughter of her character um, in Avatar Blue. And that's cool. I like seeing that. I think that that actually brings a little bit of an emotional core that I liked and was surprised with. Um, in terms of visuals, again, this one is truly a knockout. And I was genuinely glad to see that since 2009... Where, where that first movie had great visuals for its time. I think this movie has some jaw dropping visuals as well. And it's, it's, if you could watch, if you wanted to watch this movie on mute, you probably could because it's just that beautiful. But I, I did like the characters in this. So I wouldn't want to watch it on mute, but that makes sense to other people if they wanted to just watch it for a visual experience. But yeah, I enjoyed that. I thought that bringing back the bad guy from the little first one. While it was kind of like not established, that was fine, bringing him back, and I thought he did good. Uh, Stephen Lang is always good and stuff. I really enjoy Stephen Lang, and I thought that all the performances were good. I thought that it, the the action sequences were good, and it kind of had similarities to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Um, in terms of the climax, it, it wasn't completely the same, but it felt like it was the same kind of setting, and it's funny that they're similar in that in which Black Panther Wakanda Forever had these lackeys of Namor and they were blue like Avatar but they were human sh human sized and in this one you've got the climax where it's similar to Black Panther Forever in a similar environment but they're not the same but it just it I had to point that out it sounded interesting to, or it was interesting to see that um but overall I thought that this one was entertaining and emotional and fun and I genuinely like it more than the than the first one which i thought i remember reading fine even though it has the the obvious like 
I think also you're, we're in such a state where like if somebody craps on a movie like or a crowd or a crowd does it it never you can never think for yourself how to feel about a movie because you just hear so many people say oh this mo- oh Avatar was bad the first one you know um, and some people are probably gonna say this is bad too but whatever this is I thought it was fun and I enjoyed it I liked it more than the first one even though the first one was solid from what I remember um, yeah. Good time. I enjoyed Avatar. So that's it for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.